What's up, guys? It's Friday. Um, one of you has bought an access port from me. So not only are you getting the access port, but you're getting a shit ton of stickers. Oh my god, it's like a hookup. So like I was saying, we have the access port going out with a bunch of stickers. I know I'm not quitting. My access port is still there. As you can see, that's a different unit. So um, my sister's friend is over. So I can't use my car. So we're taking the Kia, which is successfully dumped off the package. Um, one of the things that I hate about modern cars, on, on my car, for example, it'll tell me which tire is low on air, but on the Sportage, it just gives it that tire light, and it doesn't indicate what tire is low on air. And it doesn't indicate, like, at what PSI. Like, my low tire light will go on at anything under 25 PSI, but since it's an SUV, it may be 28, 27, now, whichever. But we're on our way to the gas station now, trying to figure out which tire is low on air. So I've got no idea what the problem is. All of these are way above 30. So what I'll have to do is um, go online when we get back home and figure out what it's supposed to be set at so that we can probably set it. Bruh. What on God's green earth is this? Today we're at English Touch Performance. As you can see, there's a lot of stuff going on. Um, today we're dropping a 2.3 liter stroker into a Hyundai Genesis. So that should be very exciting. Um, English Touch Performance is an official sponsor, so if you have any needs for work whatsoever in the Florida area, go ahead and give them a call. Really cool guy, does really awesome work, and uh, let's go and get started. Look at the stars, they find me, you shine so bright, it haunts me, I'm lost in this thing. So, we're officially calling it a night. Uh, engine's in. Everything's plugged up. We have to put a different pig, pigtail pigtail clip on the injectors to work on the car. They're ID1000s. Uh, aftermarket turbos on. Everything's basically buttoned up. Everything cool. Um, bumpers on. All the electrics work on it now, right? Huh? They're all functional, the electrics? 
Yeah. Now, um, we're waiting on the intercooler pipe. Something's getting welded there. This one has to be repaired. Something was rubbing against it when the car came in. Um, we cleaned it, but it could use a detailing. Um, if you watch this video, Alex, I will do it for you. Just highlight your boy. <clears throat> um, if you guys know these wheels, they're hoard around. And this, just to give you an example, like this is what the whole fucking car used to look like. So it's a big difference. Meth. Exhaust. Yeah. And I guess the interesting thing is here. First of all, it's an automatic car. And apparently, the automatics are a lot more reliable as far as the transmission is concerned because the, the manual cars will have issues with the amount of power this thing will make. Is it going to upgrade the turbo again or is this the final upgrade? No, no, no. The turbo is still going to be upgraded. That's just the turbo for now. Okay, so that's the turbo on it for now. It's a 2.3. It used to be a 2 liter. It's a 2.3 stroker. And I proud stroker, yeah. With cams, and I suppose the turbo is going to be upgraded again to an even larger turbo. So this is that, that that started off life as a 18G turbo. Now it's a 20G Boost Lab. Did right. that? They did the upgrade on that. Do we have a stock turbo, any chance? Oh, it, just think of that turbo. So mm -hmm. half the size. Half the size. Yeah, because that thing is miniature. So that's. You got to think in comparison even to the EcoBoost, that's pretty large, but the, I guess the original unit you know, is just fucking tiny. Boost so, Lab said this turbo makes 600 of the crank. I don't know about that, but all right, all, all know, the boost. Yeah, I don't know about making 600 of the crank. That turbo seems a little small to do that, right. but you know, uh, I think the goal he's trying to do is. 500 at the wheels, if possible. That should be doable, then, right? If it's, it's if that turbo can do it, right. So that is that. Another successful day. As you guys saw, everything, there was no engine in the car. Everything's buttoned up. Um, one piece drive shaft. Just got to fill her up, do the injectors, cycle yeah, it. Injector plugs to do. No, that's. Uh, which I got to change over. Got map sensor that goes on the inner cooler pipe. Actually, bottom in the, the coolant tank and one radiator hose. No, that's it. And that's it. Put the ECU in, but I'm going to leave the ECU out because obviously it's going to be bench tuned. Right. It's being trailered to Fort Lauderdale next Saturday. Fingers crossed, everything goes well. Uh, the owner, Alex, is bringing the fluids tomorrow. So, fill her up with fluids the best we can without being able to turn her on because BTR would not give us the uh, startup team. Oh, that's great. So, so wait, it's getting towed to Fort Lauderdale? It's getting towed on a trailer. We're oh, like, wow. To, we can't start the car. Right. It won't fire up with those injectors, the stroke kit, cams, everything else. That, yeah, no. So it's definitely a one of a kind, at least in this area. But it still looks stock under the hood. You like that, though, right? Well, yeah, it doesn't really tell look. crap. Right, no. That's the only thing really that put, like that says oh, anything got is the, the got the intake to go back on yeah. right. That's the the, the wastegate if anything because it's a bright blue, but that may change in the future. But definitely look out for this one on the streets um, in Mexico. Um, it'll be out there. It'll be out there in Mexico. Oh yeah. That's what's going on the trailer. It's gonna go on the boat from here to Cuba to Mexico. Yes. All right, guys. So we have another beautiful day here in Florida. Um, car's almost 100% complete. Once it's completed, maybe we'll we'll do a review on it. I'm not sure, but um, again, we're at we're at English Touch Performance for your Hyundai needs. Definitely check him out. And like I said, he's an official sponsor, so thank you very very much. And remember, guys, it's not over until you win. See you guys next week. so much for checking out this video if you're not subscribed yet go ahead and subscribe if you want to see more races go ahead and check out southern racing if you want to see more stuff about the mustang gt go ahead and check out dan's channel and if you want to support the channel or any of the channels really that you see right here go ahead and follow the link to the website buy some awesome stickers again guys thank you so so much for the support and remember it's not over until you win